Hey there everyone, my name is Cyan and welcome to my channel. It is finally time, I am going to be showing you guys my portfolio that I submitted to the Rhode Island School of Design. I actually applied to the Brown RISD dual degree program, but this portfolio is gonna be just for what I sent to the Rhode Island School of Design. And along the way, I hope to be sharing some tips and tricks and show you how I implemented those with the portfolio that I'm about to show you. So the number one advice that I usually give out when I talk to people about putting together an art portfolio is to make sure that the work that you're putting into the portfolio feels like it best represents who you are as an artist. For me, I really loved to do sculptures and installations and I definitely wanted to center my portfolio around that fact, but I also wanted to show that I've been very interested in all kinds of other aspects such as filmmaking and video editing and music and stuff like that and I love exploring different materials. So when I made my portfolio I made sure to show that I had my one big focus as well as high level quality of other exploration pieces. And I do think that each item was clearly and very meticulously placed and explained in a way where it added to my story and who I was as an artist. The second point I would like to emphasize is that it is super important to start off strong and also to end strong. A lot of portfolios, especially the one that you would submit for like the AP, for example, is going to be ordered in like best improve, you get progressively better. But for me, for the art portfolio, um, for college admissions, it's super important to start strong and have a really good grabber and then keep their interest and then end even stronger. I also wanted to say just before I go into it again that this portfolio is similar to the portfolios that I actually um, sent to Stanford, sent to all my other schools, all the schools in the UK that were digital, um, pretty much had the same kind of structure. Um, for every school, I reviewed what they really were looking for and adjusted what pieces I included based on um, the amount of pieces that they wanted, the types of pieces that they wanted, and what um, skills that they were looking for. But in general, I used the same pieces. I didn't really introduce anything more. And I think the RISD one that I'm about to show you is the most complete. Alright, so let's get into it. The first piece that I have in my portfolio is called Lucifer, matchsticks. Basically, Lucifer means matchstick in Dutch. I created this piece while I was in the Netherlands working with an artist who was doing a big show for a biennial art exhibition in Arnhem, the Netherlands. And that project was a woodworking workshop where all of these different artists from around the world were invited to create a piece using wood from that park that the exhibition was in. And I ended up making a piece and it was this one. The fallen matchstick represents the past. It's an opportunity that has happened. And the standing matchstick is an opportunity that is waiting to happen. And the audience, the people that are in the park, the visitors, you, are the present. So basically I also just wanted to include a lot of process photos. I'm not sure if a lot of people do this but for me it was really important because of the scale of my work and I just wanted to show what went into it and the skills that I had to use to make it happen. So my next piece is called Hanging Out and it is a hanging chair and I wanted to show a kind of like a design process, cool visual aesthetic and something that looks really awesome but also has a little bit of a concept behind why I chose the design. Basically for this one I wanted to show an organic shape, the one line that goes through the top, more feminine, soft, but I also wanted to show how strong it is and the, and the solid foundation behind it. And those are the rigid shapes underneath the chair and obviously it hangs off the ground so it's unstable when you get into it but as soon as it stabilizes you kind of get comfortable and you feel protected by this foundation. For this one as well, I wanted to show my process just because it was my first time welding ever and so I have another picture where I just kind of show the steps towards making this piece. Alright, so my third project and fifth item or image that I sent them was Proxis. And so this one I actually created when I was doing my boarding school experience a semester away at Oxbow and that is a semester art program and at the end of the semester we all create a big final project that goes along with the research paper. So for this one I was researching consumerism and I came to kind of the conclusion that there are two extremes and I wanted to represent those extremes in my piece. 
Basically one of them is what if we had no consumerism at all? What if there was no media influencing us, no ads, nothing like that? Then what would we be able to use to express ourselves? We would end up being kind of empty shells and we would all be the same and we wouldn't really have anything to use to inspire to show people what we are about and what we're interested in. But on the other hand, we become equally empty and ingenuine human beings if we let everything we see around us influence us and everything is about putting on a spectacle. Basically, this piece is a styrofoam life-size human that hangs from a single rope from its back. That one is representing if we did not have any influences at all, it's empty. However, the ropes on the shadow part of it that is being reflected on the wall, that represents a version that is being influenced from all different angles like a puppet. And then for my second image of that, I actually also showed my process along with some notes and some background from my research that I did for that project. So my next piece I created also at the Oxbow School and it is titled 57 Pounds and it's just a backpack and it is overflowing with dollar bills. The concept behind the piece is that it is the, I've weighted it down physically to be the weight of what my high school's tuition for a year would have been in dollar bills and I kind of wanted to do a piece that represented like the, the value that we place on education and what is the worth of it and when we carry these backpacks what is the weight that we have on our shoulders and how are we gonna not take it for granted and knowing that, that is a tuition and what is its worth you know. After that I also included a less conceptual piece this is a inspiration using one material so all of these are created just from masking tape and this one was about being able to depict the different elements and principles of design and so I don't quite remember what they were but I think it was emphasis, contrast, um, each of them had both one element and one principle. I kind of just wanted to show my use of like exploration of materials and stuff like that. Then I went into a different route, kind of switched it up a little bit. I actually presented a two dimensional piece and this was a painting. This one is an abstract painting called Musica. I made this painting as a response to a still life that I was making at the time. I was so frustrated with the still life. So I created this abstract piece as a response to it and just kind of let out all my frustrations. I was listening to music and so all the black lines are representations of like the songs that I was listening to and then I have a bunch of different textures and all these different colors letting myself be free from the constraints of that one still life I was doing. Then my other 2D piece that I presented was another abstract painting and this one was called Photograph. I'd basically shown all these album covers that I'd painted. Each of these pieces that you see correlates to a song that I've written. Thing, this isn't real so I don't actually have this song on here, but if it were, this particular one that I have highlighted is for a song called Photograph that I did write, but it's not out, unfortunately. What I did include were two videos, and so the first one actually is on my YouTube channel. Actually, both of them are on my YouTube channel, and you can go check them out. The first one is NanoFit, and this is like a one minute proposal sci-fi type video that you can check out. It's um, really, really fun. I made it for don't tell them, but I made it for the Ivan and Young Academy when I was applying to USC and um, I had a lot of fun making it. It shows directing skills, editing skills, um, VFX, etc, etc, etc. So that is um, one that I definitely wanted to show because video making is something that I love to do and it correlates to what they wanted to see. So I put that in there and then the second one is a depiction of the other sculpture and the last piece that I made called Spectrum. So I actually have still images from that that I wanted to show as well. It just honestly operated differently in video form than in photo form so I just wanted to show. Spectrum was more of me experimenting with this piece that I had made and figuring out how I could use different RGB lights to explore with drawing in space and using line on walls and stuff like that. I had a lot of fun making that as well. I do think it was a strong piece to conclude my portfolio with because it really shows the curiosity and how I, ex I like to experiment with technology a little bit and experiment with how I can alter different experiences in a real space. Alright, so those were all of the pieces that I had in my portfolio. I think that it has been one of the most important factors of my application, so I definitely wanted to put this video out there. Let me know if you have any other questions about art because I definitely can't answer those 
and if you want to send me your art portfolio, I'd be more than happy to critique it. All right, I wanted to thank you so much for watching this video. I had a lot of fun making it. I'm so happy I finally recorded it because it's been a long time coming. If you um, have anything else that you would like to add or share, please put it in the comment section below. If you have any suggestions for videos, I will try to implement them as best as I can. If you enjoyed watching this, then please give me a thumbs up. It means the world to me. If you wanna stay up to date with my videos, then hit that subscribe button because I'll be making a lot more content very soon. All right, I hope you have an amazing day. Thank you so much and check back in later.